Hi, welcome to Lala's World. Today we're going to talk about how to use Microsoft OneNote. This video is a basic how-to tutorial that will show you the basics of how to get started. So, what is Microsoft OneNote? Let's take a minute to talk about what OneNote actually is. If you already know what OneNote is, you can skip directly to the tutorial. You can look in the description to click and go directly there. Well, OneNote is a place you can take notes and carry them with you on any device. You can then organize that info into categories in order to stay organized. In order to do that, you would start an online notebook. Create categories for your notes in your notebook. You can also make a checklist, add elements such as tables, pictures, links, documents, etc. You can grab info from the web easily, and best of all, you can share any of your documents you created on OneNote with others. All of the features help you stay organized. Also, everything you create is searchable. This is good for school, business, and home note-taking. And you don't have to worry about losing any notes because everything you create syncs to all of your devices. To get started using OneNote, the first thing you do is go to www.onenote.com. Once you get there, you'll see a page that looks like this. There are a few ways to open and use OneNote. You can either work online or Download OneNote to your desktop and work. To work online, go ahead and click Open Note. If you already have a Hotmail email, your login information for OneNote is the same. This is the online version once you get it open. I'm going to close this. Now, I'm going to show you how to download it to your desktop. First, scroll down until you get to the area that says Desktop. Click Desktop. I want the desktop version, so I'm going to scroll down and click the text that says Other Download Options. Once you click this, you'll see where it says Free Download. Once you click that, the download will start. When it's finished, click the Download and you will get an Office pop-up. Wait on this and let it install. Once it's finished installing, you can close this out and find it on your computer. I have Windows 10, so I'm going to click my Start menu and look under my Recently Added for my OneNote. You'll be asked to connect to the cloud, and this will sync your notes and settings to your phone, PC, and the web. The first time you click Sign In, it will have to set up. When you get to the sign-in portion, enter in your Hotmail, Outlook, or Live email, and then your password for that account, and you click Sign In. Go ahead and press Accept for Updates. When you first log in, they will have an introductory Quick Notes. In there, it will show you even more about OneNote. If you click on File, it will open up a menu. I'm going to click New. Right here, it is letting me know I don't have any open notebooks and telling me how to open one. If I click Notebooks, Add Notebooks, I'm going to give this notebook a name and I'm going to call it Travel and click Create Notebook. Here, it's asking me do I want to invite people to this notebook. For now, I'm going to click Not Now. Here's my new notebook on travel. I'm going to create another notebook again by clicking File, New, and I will name this notebook My Recipes, and click Create Notebook. I don't want to invite anyone right now. I'm going to create my third notebook and name this one School, and one more notebook and name this meeting. Okay, 
Now I have four notebooks. I'm going to go to File, Open, and all of my notebooks will appear. You can open your notebooks from OneDrive or other locations. You can also print, share with other people, export, and send your notebooks. I'm going to go back to Open and start with my meeting notebook. I'm going to name this page 9 a.m. Meeting. The good thing about OneNote is you can type anywhere. I'm going to now type productivity. And once you type something and you want to move it, you can literally move it anywhere. The home menu is like a word processor. From here, you can edit your font. Or when you highlight font, you get a font editor pop up. If you want to insert anything into your page, you can do so by clicking insert from this menu. You can insert a table, a file printout, file attachment, screen clippings, pictures from your computer or online, links, video, the date, the time, page templates, equations, and symbols. If you want to draw, you can definitely doodle on your page or you can highlight important notes. Okay, let's go back to insert and see insertion in action. I'm going to click insert pictures, do a search for sales, and I'm just going to click this first one and click insert. It will insert my picture and I definitely need to resize this. And I'm going to move it. I would like to make a to-do checklist. So I will go to home and click to do. If I want to make an added page, I'd go over to the right menu and click add page. I'm going to click rename and I will title them with names of who all is at my meeting. So if I want to follow up on something they say, did, or had anything else that I wanted to follow up on, I could take those notes and I would know who to follow up on. If you want to draw, you can draw anything within the page. If you click review, this is where you can check your spelling and more. Under view, you can change how the page looks. For example, if you want the notebook page to have ruled lines, you can click and make ruled lines. Okay, so back to my tab here. I'm going to rename this people. If you want to add a new tab, you just click the plus sign. Now, I'm going to finish my checklist and add follow-up. Send PowerPoint. If you have a misspelled word, you'll get a red line under it. If you right click, a menu will come up where you can fix the spelling. Say you're making notes for school. You can make sections for all your subjects. Okay. For my math note, I will put a date for my class notes and start typing some notes. If you go to the draw menu, you have an ink to math option where you can convert handwritten mathematical expressions to text or you can insert pre-made shapes. You can time and date stamp something and move it where you want. For my English tab, I am again going to change the page ruling and start typing. You can insert tags. For example, I want to put in a helpful website or source for a paper for my English class. And I'm going to insert a picture.
Okay, for my science class notes, I can type the page title. Find a picture. Put in a little note with my page, and as you can see, OneNote can be very helpful for school and keep you organized. Next, let's go to recipes. Here, I'm going to type cookies. I'm going to go to my favorite site, Pinterest, and find an awesome cookie recipe. This looks good, so I'm going to save this. I'm going to go back to my OneNote page. Click Insert Screen Clipping, highlight the ingredients, and we'll paste it back into my cookie page. I'm going to go back and get the instructions. You can also highlight and copy and paste. And lastly, the picture. And now I have a delicious cookie recipe. If you want to type your own recipe, you can. You could do a checklist of ingredients. So you can star something important. Just going to type the rest of these instructions. And when I'm done, it looks something like this. And the last example of my notebook is going to be travel. I want to plan out a vacation, so I'm going to rename this tab Vacation 2017. The next tab will be Flight, then Itinerary, and Sightseeing. My first tab page, I'm going to name this Trip to Hawaii. I'm going to look up flights from Atlanta to Hawaii. I will then go back to my OneNote and go to screen clipping and clip this info to OneNote title this flight to catch. For the itinerary, I will call this day one. I will add day two as another page, and lastly, day three. Now for the fun part. I'm going to search for things to do in Hawaii. Once I find something, I will clip it from the screen and back to OneNote. Next, I'm going to fill my sightseeing tab. I'm going to go back to Pinterest and find some beautiful sites that I want to see and copy and paste them onto my OneNote page. Here I'm just going to doodle a big smiley face and fun time on my Hawaii vacation page. Overall, these are just basic samples of what you can do with OneNote. As you can see from my four sample notebooks, there is so much more that you can do with OneNote. The possibilities are endless. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, and if you have any comments or questions be sure to leave them down below also be sure to check out the other videos on this channel